A quick reminder of decimal subtractions. Two examples. 32, 7 minus 5, 6, 2. We write it like this. Remember to line up the commas carefully so everything is in its right decimal place. It also helps to put a zero in here to start and also to put the comma into the right place in the answer before you do anything else. Then you say 0 minus 2, you can't do that, so you have to go over here and take one of those, bring it over, it becomes 10 minus 2 gives you 8, 6 minus 6 gives you 0, then you go to here, 2 minus 5 you can't do, so again you need to go and take one of these, bring it over, it becomes 12 minus 5 gives you 7, 2 minus 0 gives you 2, so your answer is 27, 8. The second example, 30, 7 minus 5, 8. Again, we line it up nicely with the commas, and straight away we go and put the comma into the answer. Here we do 7 minus 8. 7 minus 8 we can't do, so we have to go over here to try and get one. But here there's 0, so we can't get anything from there, so we have to go over to here to get one. We go over here, we get take one of those, and we pass it over to there where it becomes a 10. Then we can take one of these 10, so we're left with 9, and we pass it over here. We have 17 minus 8, that gives me 9. Then we look here, we have 9 minus 5, which gives me 4, and we have 2 minus nothing, which gives me 2. 24, 9 is our answer.